This video is to help people better understand capoeira body mechanics and footwork. Basic positions and body mechanics. The first body mechanic position we're going to learn is the mea guarda position. Stand up straight, roll your shoulders up and back, lower your waist, step out three times. Bring your hands up to the guard position. Let's try that again. Shoulders up and back, lower your waist, step out three times. One, two, three, hands up to the guard position. Now from the side, shoulders, waist, one, two, three, hands up to the guard position. Mea guarda. Shoulder shift. Imagine you're twisting a ball between your hands. Keep the same distance between your palms and let your palms touch your shoulders. Shoulder shift. The next position we're going to learn is the Jinga position. Twist from the waist pushing out from the elbow. Twist from the waist, pass through the mea guarda position and push out from the elbow to the jinga position. Use both legs to twist through the movement. Try to always line up your elbow with your chin. The next position we're going to learn is the negativa di frente. Go into the jinga position, lower your back heel, twist on your heels, Lower yourself, push out from the elbow and the back foot, bringing your hand to the outside of the front leg. Negativa di frente position. Now, this time our waist is lowered when we're doing the mea guarda. We call this the mea guarda baixa position. From negativa de frente through the mea guarda baixa position to negativa de frente. Lining up the elbow. Let's try to go from the jinga position to the negativa de frente position, making sure we pass through the mea guarda position. Now from the side, make sure you're lining up your elbow in the jinga position and in the negativa de frente position. The next body mechanic position is the cocorinha. Notice that my waist is lowered below my knee level. From the mea guarda position, I lower myself into the cocorinha and back to mea guarda. The last body mechanic position is cocorinha fechada. Imagine you're closing your body from the center core muscles. Elbows and hands and knees should all come together. Now, make sure you're lowering yourself and not just falling 
onto your knees to prevent injury. Push in and push out. Cocorinha fechada. Now from the side. Pull your elbows, hands, knees and heels together and lower yourself into the cocorinha fechada body mechanic position. A good drill is to go from the jinga position to the cocorinha fechada position, making sure to pass through the mea guarda position. Basic shifting. From the mea guarda position, shoulder shift, then bring your outside leg in and shift to the side. Try to keep your shoulder shift constantly moving. Now from the side. Make sure you're shifting with your waist at the same level. Try not to jump up and down. Shifting forward. Turn the front foot out as you push out and lower yourself from the knee. Continue the shoulder shift, pushing out. Then bring the other leg forward keeping the same distance between your feet. It's important to make sure you're pushing from the elbow and that there's a constant distance between both legs. Shifting backwards. From a standing position with my legs together, I lowered myself much like we did in the mea guarda. But instead of stepping out, I push back from one heel as my front leg pulls me back. Shifting backwards. The last shifting technique we're going to learn is shifting inwards. From the mea guarda position, I'm going to bring my feet slightly together using my thigh muscles, making sure not to lower or raise my waist. Angola. Then push back out from my thighs into a mea guarda position at a side angle.
basic negativa. The first negativa we're going to learn is negativa rolé forwards. As with all negativas, it's important to remember to always use your legs to lower yourself to prevent knee injury. From the Jenga position, bring the back leg forward, pushing through and out to the side, pushing from the elbow, a small shifting forwards, and a shifting backwards. Bento Grande de Angola. Negativa rolé backwards. Instead of pushing my back leg forwards, I'm going to lower myself to my back leg. At the same time, pulling my front leg back and out. Negativa do lado. This time we're going to create a corkscrew motion down and to the side. From the jinga position to the mea guarda, twist in and down, push out from the elbow, a low shifting forwards and a low shifting backwards. Now the negativa do lado in the jinga position. From the jinga position, I corkscrew down and in, push from the elbow, low shifting forwards, and return back to the jinga position. Negativa de costas. For the negativa de costas, we have to place our back foot in the negativa de frente position. Twist from the waist, push back from your elbows in a circular motion. Push forward, place your hand, and pass through the mea guarda baixa position. Oh, 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 oh,
negativa por baixo. Lower yourself into a negativa position. Keep your knees together. Rotate over your extended leg. Push out from the heel. Push out from the elbow. Low shifting forwards. Back to a mea guarda position. Lower yourself into a negativa, rotate, shifting forwards, back to a mea guarda. Negativa fugindo. Go into a negativa de frente. Twist from the waist to a negativa de costas position. Push out from the elbow, shifting forwards, back to a mea guarda position. Now from the side. Negativa de frente, negativa de costas, shifting forwards to a mea guarda position. Grande de Angola. Jinga footwork. To start the jinga, shift back and forth in a mea guarda position without raising your waist. Start the shoulder shift, then bring your foot out to the jinga position. Notice how I keep my shoulder shift in constant motion. When doing the jinga, push out from your heel and shift it back and inwards from the thigh muscle. When using the jinga to move forwards or backwards, it's important to keep the proper distance, which is basically heel to toe distance. When using the Jinga to move from side to side, it's important not to step out too far. Basically, from the mea guarda footwork distance to the mea guarda baixa distance. 